Welcome back. Our interview series, Meet the Candidates, continues today. Right now, the goal is to get voters to know who's on the ballot, kind of about that personality. Joining us now is Travis Holman. He's running for the seat in the Indiana Senate representing District 19. So let's talk a little bit of the background. Okay. Travis Holman, where are you from? Sure. Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, I grew up in southeast Missouri, uh, just south of St. Louis. Uh, finished uh, my undergrad work at southeast Missouri State and then uh, actually came to Indiana. Uh, after a short stint, my wife and I were short-term missionaries in Haiti for two years, hmm. and uh, we came back to the Fort Wayne area for my wife to finish her degree at IPFW. She's a, a, a Hoosier, and I grew up in Wells County, where we live, uh, where we live today, where we raised our family. Sure. What's appealing to Indiana for you? Uh, <laughs> well, it's a great place to raise a family. Uh, we have uh, two kids and uh, uh, great schools great churches, uh, great people uh, live here in the Hoosier State. Good, strong work ethic uh, makes it a great place to live. You mentioned the family. Let's talk more about that. Okay. What's, uh, what's your family like? Uh, well, we have a daughter. Uh, she has two children. Uh, she worked for uh, Mike Pence, actually, on Capitol Hill uh, oh, really? for six years, uh, then went over and worked on the Senate side uh, for two years with uh, Richard Luger. Uh, mm -hmm. met her husband uh, in D.C., and uh, they moved to Tallahassee. He went to work for Governor Scott, the uh, governor of Florida, Sure. Uh, and uh, uh, ended up with two children there. She lost her husband, actually, to a, a rare uh, colon cancer uh, back about four years ago. So she stayed in Tallahassee for a year, uh, and then uh, we live out in the country. Uh, we gave her property next door, and so uh, she built a home next door. So our grandkids are now five and seven, and they live a uh, hundred yards away from us. Uh, I bet that's so, uh, a, a good benefit. That's I guess. good. It turned out it turned out well. A tragic situation, but uh, it ended up well. Uh, sure. And then we have a son who uh, just left the Air Force after 12 years. He was a special ops pilot in the Air Force. He did seven deployments uh, while he was in for the 12 years he was in, wow. and uh, decided it was time to uh, to leave the Air Force. He's in the Guard now. Uh, he lives in uh, Fort Walton Beach, Florida, and uh, he's in the Guard, and uh, he's been uh, doing uh, training as an instructor uh, with a simulator at the base there at uh, Duke uh, Air Force Base in Florida, and uh, he just uh, signed up with Delta Airlines, so uh, he'll continue in the Guard, still do some work uh, at the Air Force Base uh, at the uh, Eglin area, uh, but then he'll be uh, a pilot with uh, Delta Airlines here uh, just within a month or so. Using some of that experience. Talk yeah. about uh, the community. What, what kind of outreach do you have to the community, some of the things that you're involved in? Uh, well, uh, heavily involved with our church um, at, in Zanesville, and uh, help with worship uh, half the time. Uh, another another guy and I trade off uh, leading worship uh, on Sundays. Uh, involved with politics, uh, was county chairman, uh, our vice chairman for about 15 years in Wells County, so uh, do quite a bit of uh, political work, helping other candidates out, uh, doing what I can uh, sure. to advance uh, the cause. Uh, and then I'm very active with uh, Youth for Christ. Uh, I was on the Campus Life uh, uh, J. Adams Wells Grant Blackford chapter hmm. of uh, Youth for Christ uh, down in down in the region, sure. and uh, I did that for about 15 years, and then was asked to go on the national board for Youth for Christ, and so I went off the local board, but still stay active with what goes on with uh, with the movement across the country, and uh, uh, keep busy with uh, chairing the foundation for the national board as well. So it takes uh, takes some of my time. Absolutely, some passion there. Well, I appreciate yeah. you coming in. Good luck sure. to you. Thanks again. Travis Holman faces Republican Eric Orr, the primary, May 8th.